Hi, everyone. It's me, Brenda, from Brenda's Knots and Loops. How is everyone today? I hope you're all doing, um, having a wonderful day, or um, at least got your coffee started and uh, drinking. For I drink my coffee, I'm on to iced tea. So uh, let's see. Um, to get started, um, in case you guys missed yesterday's class, which is a uh, crochet along, C-A-L. All the links, uh, some people were having problems finding the links. The links are everywhere. They're in the Facebook. They're in um, the community page on YouTube. They're in a lot of the um, shows, uh, the link. I will have the link uh, on Monday show in the description box in, below in the description box. I don't today. But if you missed it, you still can join us. So um, we got up to, if you go to, I, I print out the, the website. So when you go to her blog, it's really a blog. Go to the blog. We got went, we got all the way to row six, right above where it says top front. All right. You got all the way there and do the repeat. So if you got if you do that, you'll get you'll be caught up. All right. And some of the people have um, gone uh, ahead, which is fine, which is fine. So uh, very, um, very simple and easy pattern. So if you uh, and so, you know, the repeat, the repeat is a total of rows, not I have to do it 21 times. No, it's rows. So you, you keep on going and going and going. If you happen, it says on, if you read it all, uh, under the repeat rows, two from six until you have a total of, then your size. So then it, then it says you should be ending on row five repeat. But if you stop at six, don't tear it out. Because if you go down here to top front, number one is the same as as number six up here. So don't tear out. No worries. All right. So that's, um, so do your repeats. All right. And um, how wide on the body is the first section supposed to be? Well, depending on what size you want, Wendy. Um, you, you're going to say, oh, Lord above, it's this long. Wait a minute. Let me get mine. Oh. Oh. I knew I should have got it. Anyway, this is an extra large. You're like, Brenda, that is not an extra large. But what you don't um, believe is we have it, the sweater in the middle. And then we have the sleeves on each side. So it is a total of... This your sweater and two sleeves, so don't freak out that it's all oh, Lord above. I am not this big, no, you are not. But it is a sweater and two sleeves, okay? So when you uh, are uh, working on your size, it's uh, you don't panic because it's way too big. Because you got to remember, it's the sweater, it's the front of the sweater, it's this part up here. Plus this part in sleeves. Okay. All right. Okay. So hopefully that gets you guys started. And you're more than welcome to join us. It's free. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not charging at all. But uh, so you guys know. C-A-L means crochet a long. So you're more than welcome to join us. So anyway. Um, mine might be bigger than that. I'm going to two times. That's fine. Everybody's, uh, so, everybody's will be different at different size. So depending on what size you're, you're doing. Okay. So, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, before I open up mail that I have or yarn, I want to show you what I've been working on. Oh, what about, let me get the ball. This is, um, this is Wendy's with wool, um, um, Aaron, 
400 milligrams. 400 grams, not milligrams. 400 grams. Hold on. I bought another one. In blue. This is what it looks like. I got it to Joanne's. It's so soft, so soft and squishy. This is uh, called River. It is color. I love this blue. Love the blue. But anyway, it's only 20% wool, so don't freak out that it's wool. 77% uh, premium acrylic and 2% viscous. It's uh, machine washable, dryable, ironable, dry cleanable. And let's see. Anything else you guys want to know? 400 grams. Eight hundred and ninety-two yards. So, and this is, I forget what color this is. It's the same stuff, but different color. Anyway, got it at Joann's, and this is what I'm making. It's, sorry for the yarn. That's what I'm making. So, the ill bits on the end, the collar is, I know turn, it's turning up, um, brown for some reason on the camera and it's really it's not it is um big twist plum and why it's turning it looks brown i don't know but it's it's plum see it says plum and depend on what color where what light it's uh but big twist is so freaking soft this this tweed Twist tweed is what I'm using for the little collar bits. I did put the link for this um, uh, shawl in the description below. Um, it's really a, a neat pattern. It just fell on the floor. Um, neat pattern. You can just do it this way or you can add a hood if you want. The hood is included. Look how thick the pattern is. The hood uh, pattern is included in the uh, Lots of pictures it is included in the in the uh, pattern. So anyway, this is what I'm working on, which I think it's going to be gorgeous when I get it done. And uh, so Joanne sent me this great humongous, oh my gosh, humongous box with hardly any yarn in it, which just cracks me up. So, uh, um, yes, I have, Sherry. Sherry wants to know if I've tried Herchner's Jumbo Yarn. Yes, I have, but I like Big Twist better. It's cheaper. Sorry, but I do. Anyway, here's my plum. And I already showed you the blue, which I got two of, the, two of those because I really have another one that I bought. I want to try it out paper then isn't this the lovely twist this is the twist which is a number four this is gray i'm going to make something else with it it's 97 uh, acrylic three percent viscous 382 yards machine washable Dryable, uh, no, no dry, laid flat. But you can iron it in on low, which cracks me up. It is so soft and squishy. Love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I bought a lot of it. And then I bought uh, this color is navy. I really like it. And then I wanted to see what this was. This is um, um, Wendy's with Wool Aaron 50, which this is the same thing, but this is tweed. This is not tweed. I wanted to check it out. Look how huge this ball is. It's soft, but you can feel, you can tell it's got wool in it. The, the tweed, you cannot tell it's got wool. 
This is a little wooly, but still soft and squishy. Still soft, not as soft as the, not as soft as the tweed though. This is barley collar, twenty five percent wool, seventy five percent premium acrylic, machine washable. Oh, that's when you can tumble tumble dry on coal and iron. Really, Wendy's. This is Aaron. It also comes in DK. All right. And um, 875 yards, this one. And it does come in DK if you don't want uh, Aaron. It does come in DK. And then I got it also in the, in um, in uh, off-white. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this color or this color for my project I'm using. So, um, this one is a lot softer and squishier. A lot softer and squishier than um, this one. This one, some, for some reason, it's not as soft as, it's the exact same stuff, just a different color. Figure that one out, huh? Yeah, figure that one out. Um, so uh, that's uh, all that I got in that pile because I, let's see, let me see if I can find, it's not over there. Can't lose up. this. Fell on the floor. There we go. Don't want to lose that. The same place that has the same girl that has the um, the shawl I just showed you. She has uh, these. It's a sh it's a shawl, but it's got pockets. I think it's gorgeous. Cocoa pocket shawl. Anyway, that's what I bought these other colors for. So. So you might want to um, and check her out because she's got some really neat patterns. Really neat patterns. So, all right. I'm telling you, this box is huge for, and that's all the yarn that was in it. It does it. It just barely, uh, the yarn just barely covers the bottom of the box. Cracks me up. Oh, Lord above. All right. Now. Order yarn from Lion Brand. Don't remember what I ordered. Um, um, uh, Kim, I bought it when it was on sale for half price. It was uh, Doorbusters, the uh, Wendy, the Wendy's. Yes, it's quite expensive. It's lovely yarn though. Oh, lovely. But buy it when it's on sale. Or wait till you get a coupon that it's in a, next to nothing. That's what I did. I just made wait made sure that it was uh um um no my uh So anyway, um, Lion Bram. Let's see what I bought. Ooh, I know what I bought. I bought. Look what I bought. I bought my ice cream. I like this kind of ice cream. I don't wear. I don't gain any weight. Diet ice cream. Oh, it's so silky soft. Feels like felt. Feels like felt. Ice cream. Ice cream. This is green teal. I'm going to make a sweater out of it. Go figure, right? <laughs> I 
I bought it uh, ice cream at Lion Brands because it had the cheap. It was on sale, had the cheapest price. It's a, let's see, one thousand one hundred and seventeen yards. It's a number three, hundred percent acrylic, machine washable, dryable. You use a number five crochet hook. But yes, I have a uh, sweater I want to make. And uh, so I think that's going to be awesome as a sweater. So that's what I bought from Lion Brand. Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. That's true. Uh, Lisa says, but if you're going to make a long sweater, it's still going good to your hips. That's true. That's true. But. I can get um, usually about a thousand yards, uh, depending on the sweater, um, an extra large. So this is, I bought two balls. So I have over 2,234 2, yards. So that's going to make, I can make about anything, any sweater I want with that. So, and that, that's going to be awesome. So. Um, hold on. Today's recipe, goulash. Now, my, my mom always call it Johnny Marzetti, but it's goulash. I haven't had goulash. I can't tell you how long. I'm going to have it this weekend because, oh my gosh, it's yummy. So, um, I don't know why I haven't had it for a long time. The only difference between goulash and Johnny Marzetti really is uh, you add cheese. All right. Let's see what coupons we have. Coupons. All right. Lion Brand has uh, three for 15. <coughs> mix, mix, mix and match. You don't have to buy all three balls at the same. That's cool. No code. That's even better. I like that. Uh, let's see. Webs has um, a bunch of yarn on sale for 25% off or more. We Crochet has today, well, this week, they're having a fine wash merino wool, 75% um, off, Stroll, S-T-R-O-L-L -S -T -R -O -L -L is the brand name. And they will have it 75% um, um, off. And no, I lied, 20% off. It's 25% off. Fine superwash. Merino wool, 25% nylon, 20% off. Which, let's see what, what that makes it. Let me see it. There it is. Uh, $8. Let's see. For a one. For a hundred G Hank. It's $8 and 79 cents. Tweed is $5 and 59 cents. So. Well, so that's. We crochet. Oh, I just deleted. Those crafts. Don't. Who knows what it was. And Mary Maximum was on here, but it just, it's not on, it's on my, all right. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sherry. How are you? Um, I will, um, uh, hold on. Hold on a minute. I gotta go on, I gotta go to my computer email because it's not showing up on my phone. And um, and there was a lot more discounts. Yeah. Okay. Mary Ma Mary Maximum. Where are where were they all? Oh. 
there it is, Merrimack Warehouse Liquidation Sale, 40 to 70% off shop now, it says. I saw, I, I was like, I've got to find that because it was like, oh my gosh, it was, I saw 70% off. It's like, I've got to go. Love Crafts is having 20% off British brands. And then they're having 30% off exclusive yarn packs. <clears throat> no code. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. And let's see. Universal. Love the log cabin free pattern, but unfortunately it's knit. So I won't be sharing that with you, which I just did. I know. I know. Okay. Let's see. Anybody else? No, I can't find anybody else. I thought I had one from Hershner's, but I cannot find it. Sorry. Now I got all these tabs open. Crack me up. Crack me. Oh. So, anyway. Yes, Mary Maximum. Wholesale. They have a liquidation sale. So, it's really. Um, they have yarn and, and some kits. And it's just not yarn. They have puzzles and. Um, what is that? Plastic canvas uh, thing. And all. You name it. So. Uh, and then. Joanne's was has um which thank you um PJ already put the code in there celebrating doorbusters the entire stock of yarn entire stock of yarn today only well, August the 2nd to through the 6th, I guess it says. Today through the 6th. Tire stock of yarn is buy two, get one free, or 30% off online. 30% online orders only. Do not need a code, which is cool. Let's see. Any other... Because it wouldn't list anything else since it's housing the entire stock. Uh, select yarn, multiple packs, up to 60% off. If you guys wanted lighting, it's 50% uh, off on their lights. 60% off on their some storage. Which, we who doesn't need more storage? Look at that. Is, that, is this the big scoop? Yes, the big scoop. Three, two balls. Two balls. Two balls. Gregory 27.99 is on sale for 19.59 on uh, Joann's. And then they have all you all kinds of yarn uh, bundles on sale. I'm going to have to check that out. Okay, um, anybody have any questions or anything? I, um, I, for I, I forget, please send me your pictures by tomorrow noon for the show and tell. It can be anything, anything new. Don't send me something you made uh, a year ago. I want something you've been working on the last couple weeks, uh, just recently. Um, whether you got it done or I'm working on it, this is because like my shawl, I don't have it done, but I'm going to post it. This is what I got so far. Um, working on, you know, and then, uh, please send me also what yarn you're using in the pattern. If you can, that would be appreciated. Cause sometimes I, I personally, sometimes I see the yarn you're using on your sweater. It's like, oh, I've got to have that yarn. And uh, so please send me your um, 
pictures of your items that either you have done or you're working on at to Brenda's knots and loops at gmail.com. My email is down below in the description box at the very uh, bottom of the page. So it's always on, in the description box, always. So make sure you send me your pictures with your description. If you happen to have an Etsy website or, or a YouTube channel, please list that also in, um, in your email. And I will list that in the, the, in the um, description box as show and tell. Not only is the show and tell on um, YouTube, but I've been, I started putting it on Facebook also. So you can get more uh, exposure if you want. If you do not want your items to be shown on, um, on YouTube, you can, uh, I will have a, um, um, a picture. I will have a link that you can add your own, you know, if you want to on face on Facebook. So in case you don't want, um, coffee says, do you want pictures of our cow shirt? Yes, please. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Yes, I do. And yes, Rena, that means yours. Rena almost has hers done. She probably already has it done. I don't know. She, Rena, are you on here? Do you have it done? So, oh, yes, yeah, she is on here. She's laughing. So, do you have it done already? She was on row two of the bottom. So, um, and you, if you, can you see how far I am? Everybody else is farther than me. So, um, please send me a picture, Rena. I would love to see it. You should see Rena's, the color she's using. The purple is so rich in color. Um, Sherry's. Shelly's, Shelly's. Um, we got two Sherry's. Shelly's, um, she's using ice yarn. It's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous color. Um, poor Elijah. Hopefully, she had spaghetti. She used it in Timbu. And hopefully, she got um, her um, spaghetti um, taken care of. Uh, Sherry was just starting. And it was uh, it was a it was a fun and uh, class. So, <clears throat> so you know a little bit more about the class. You want to join us? It's um, you can come and go as you please. Uh, I know a lot of you life gets in the way. Uh, so all you have to do is uh, I would appreciate if you would be there um, by twelve. Come come at twelve if you can. And so you can get your instructions of what we started. And then you can always leave whenever you have to. Um, I try not to for it. Um, we will uh, go over two hours. It depends on how much help um, you need or, you know, so. So anyway, I... Um, yeah, don't go by mine. A lot of people were a lot farther than mine. Uh, I kept on tearing mine out and showing people how to do th uh, do stuff. <laughs> tearing it out again. So I, uh, I've i done like this row here. I've done it probably, I don't know, at least a half a dozen times. So, so anyway, yes, I'm with coffee. I would love to see everybody's crochet alongs. So that would be awesome. Awesome sauce. So please uh, send me your picture of what you're working on. Even if you just got just a little bit. Even if you got just this much. Send me a picture. Because I'd like to see what color you're using. What yarn you're using. So you know me. I love yarn. I might have to go get the yarn. Because I know um, a lot of the girls yarn. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to go get that yarn.
cough, uh, coffee mine does not extend at all past my shoulders for any sleeves. Then are you doing the right size? What, Kim, what size are you making? I hate that you had to start over. Tell me what 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 size are you making? Uh, uh, did you do? Did you make enough? Uh... My phone's doing weird things. I start so that I would be ready for the Zoom. That's fine. That's fine. And if you don't want to, if you can or don't uh, figure out. How to do uh, do it? Don't want no worries. I'm using Hobby Lobby's. I love this yarn. Great, awesome. Love that yarn, by the way. You can use it. What count did you use for your chain, Wendy? To start with, if you're making, I don't know what size you're making. Ninety three. So you're making an extra large. An extra large. No, that's caught. Yes, extra large. Uh, 93. This, this is 93. Recount. Rec if yours is not look as long as this that is, then... Um, you might want to recount your recount your chain to make sure because you uh, do that and then in the fourth chain you double crochet all the way across and after you double crochet you should have 91 uh, double crochets so if you've already done your double crochets just double count your double crochets Okay, so count and make sure your count's right. Um, if your count right, if your double crochets are right, if you have 91 double crochets, then you're you're good. You're right. You're you're right where you should be. Your next your next row should come out correct. So just uh, check. Kim's having problems with hers. Kim, how many? I'm sorry, Wendy. Kim, what uh, what size are you doing in? In what count are you doing in extra large too? So let me know, Kim. How many, um, and just recount. If you, um, I'm waiting for, I'm sorry, dead air. I was waiting for Kim to post uh, what size she was making. I was looking in the comments. Sorry, I was reading the comments. For those of you watching, that doesn't help you, does it? So uh, we're talking about the crochet along, um, the sweater that we're making on Tuesdays. Um, what you do is you make the top yoke uh, with, and it connects the, the sleeves. You're doing an extra small 69 stitches then it should be pretty small. It doesn't say, uh, hold on. 
Sorry, guys, I'm going to read. I don't think it says the size width it, should, it is. Other than if you go to the very uh, first page, it says um, finish bus size. So you might want to go um, by that. And the bus size is armpit to armpit. It does not include the sleeves. Okay. Okay. Extra small is a 33. Yes. Yes. So you should have 33 plus two sleeves. So if it looks too big, you know, unfortunately she don't tell you because you have, you know, the two sleeves on there. So, Kim, you have to just, um, no, the sweets, the sleeves are added now. So, for this, this, this is an extra large. I have a sleeve, which is a short sleeve, a sleeve, a sweater, and a sleeve. Okay. So, so the sleeves are added now. You you don't have to add sleeves later. So if your extra large, extra small is looking too big, that's why all of them should look too big when you're um, when you're working on this sweater because you got um, a sweater and two sleeves. Okay, so it should look too big. Your sweater, yes, your sweater. When you get when you do the chain and the and the double crochets, you're like, oh my gosh, it's too big. Uh, no, it's not. It's it'll be fine because you'll have it's the sweater in the middle and the two sleeves on the end. Okay. Everybody got that? Everybody, anybody else need help? Yes, yeah, 69, 69 stitches is for the extra small. And then when you do the the double crochet, you you would have um, 67 after you do the double crochets. Because you do you do the double crochet in the fourth stitch for, for fourth chain from the hook, do your double crochets all the way across to the end. Clear as mud. Thank you, coffee. I try to be uh, clearer than mud. Clear as like maybe coffee. I know the sleeve. It does, but it they're not. They're uh, they're uh, part of. They're part of the. Um, Let me see if I can find you a better picture. If you can see this, it goes all the way across the top part. All right, after you do the double crochet, all right, then you chain one, single crochet back into the same stitch as the chain one, okay? And then you chain three after you do the single crochet. You chain three, skip only two spaces, then you single crochet. Do that all the way across, and that's what I have. 
have. No, I did have. And then, and then the next you do a V stitch in every. If you if you go back over to the next, that you do a V stitch in every chain three, which is what I did right here. See every chain three, I did a V stitch. Row four, you do a V stitch and a V stitch. Then row five, you do three double crochets in the V. Then six is the, the chain threes again. And then you do it all over again. Yeah, the back picture is clearer. You're right. Angie stopped at row 21. Wow. That is cool. There goes Toby walking by. Knowing him, and he probably has to go potty. Always does when I'm on either on the phone or online talking. So, but Angie, I'd love to have a picture of that. Of your what you've made, hers is gorgeous too. By the way, they're all gorgeous. I'm not playing favorites, they're all gorgeous. So, anyway, so make sure you uh mark your calendar for Tuesday at noon Eastern Standard Time, Ohio time, and join us for the crochet along. And I will, um, the pattern. I have the pattern everywhere linked. It's in um, Monday's um, show in the description box, the free pattern. You can go to it and you're more than welcome to join us. Um, it is, yes, it, it is uh, different than any other sweater that you've probably made because a lot of people don't... Uh, make a lot of it you don't do the sleeves and the the yoke or this part at the same time so i just thought it'd be neat to do something different that you wouldn't normally make but you can do it so i agree all of them are beautiful I can't wait for you guys to send me pictures. So make sure anybody, I don't care if it's a cow, uh, a duck, a, um, a sweater, a shawl, a washcloth, send me your picture. And I, so for the show and tell, so you don't have to have just, you know, anything, it can be anything. All right. So, it doesn't have to be done. It could be what you're working on. Wow, Wendy. Wow, she's only been crocheting a year this past March. That is awesome. Uh, at the very end, when we... Um, I, I'll tell you during the show, but when we... Uh, after we do the sleeves, we connect... And then we go round, around, round, and you can add, make it as long as you want. That's awesome, Wendy. Sherry's uh, past the three-year mark. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, well, anyway, I'm sorry. I got to cut this a little short. Um, my dog is now crying because he has to go out. So, um when he starts crying, that means it's serious. And I really don't want to clean up a mess. So anyway, you guys have a great day. I will see you Friday. All right. So, um, so send me your pictures. All right. And I'll see you guys Friday. Love you. Love you pieces. Um, you guys have a great day. God bless now. Bye-bye now.